I'm Tim Corrie, Chairman of BAFTA, and on behalf of the Academy, I'm pleased to welcome you to our Piccadilly headquarters for the announcement of this year's nominations for the Orange British Academy Film Awards. To present the nominations, I'm delighted to welcome two hugely talented young British actors, Tallulah Riley, seen recently in the St Trinian's films and soon to be seen in The Dilemma, and Dominic Cooper, whose work includes an education and the upcoming film, The Devil's Double. Tallulah and Dominic, please reveal the nominations. The nominations for Supporting Actress are Amy Adams for The Fighter, Helena Bonham Carter for The King's Speech, Barbara Hershey for Black Swan, Leslie Manville for Another Year, Miranda Richardson for Made in Dagenham. The nominations for Supporting Actor are Christian Bale for The Fighter, Andrew Garfield for The Social Network, Pete Postlethwaite for The Town, Mark Ruffalo for The Kids Are All Right, and Geoffrey Rush for The King's Speech. The nominations for Adapted Screenplay are Danny Boyle and Simon Beaufoy for 127 Hours, Rasmus Heisterberg and Nikolai Arkell for The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, Aaron Sorkin for The Social Network, Michael Arndt for Toy Story 3, and Joel Cohen and Ethan Cohen for True Grit. The nominations for Original Screenplay are Mark Heyman, Andre Hines and John McLaughlin for Black Swan, Scott Silver, Paul Tamasay and Eric Johnson for The Fighter, Christopher Nolan for Inception, Lisa Cholodenko and Stuart Blumberg for The Kids Are All Right, and David Seidler for The King's Speech. The nominations for animated film are Despicable Me, How to Train Your Dragon, and Toy Story 3. The nominations for director are Danny Boyle for 127 Hours, Darren Aronofsky for Black Swan, Christopher Nolan for Inception, Tom Hooper for The King's Speech, and David Fincher for The Social Network. The nominations for leading actress are Annette Benning for The Kids Are Alright, Julianne Moore for The Kids Are Alright, Natalie Portman for Black Swan, Numi Rapace for The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, and Hayley Steinfeld for True Grit. The nominations for leading actor are Javier Bardem for Beautiful, Jeff Bridges for True Grit, Jesse Eisenberg for The Social Network, Colin Firth for The King's Speech, and James Franco for 127 Hours. The nominations for Outstanding British Film are 127 Hours, Another Year, Four Lions, The King's Speech, and Made in Dagenham. The nominations for Best Film are Black Swan, Inception, The King's Speech, The Social Network, and True Grit. Thank you. Thank you. I feel like a great city. Um, I wonder kind of what your first initial reaction was to the nominations we've seen today. Um, I think they're great. I think it's a really interesting year. I mean, it's a very uh, sort of strong um, turnout for the Brits, which is always kind of nice to see. But I think the range of films from, you know, True Grit to 127 Hours, The Fighter, Black Swan, um, social network. I mean, it's just great. Um, and of course, the King's Speech. You have, um, I guess, great memories uh, here because you produced an education yeah. as well. So, are you kind of do you always get excited for the Baftas? Is it one you always have like marked I in the Last night was very funny because they, when we were doing the rehearsal for this morning, we just used last year's nominees, and I, of course, wasn't here and wasn't anything to do with it last year. I was very quite rightly locked out of it, so it was like I was able to cheer every time <laughs> an education came up. But no, it is. It's really. It's very uh, exciting and yeah it's a thrill and I think it's always great to be nominated and have your work recognised. We saw um, Colin Firth and Natalie Portman uh, won Golden Globes at the weekend yeah. and they're both nominated uh, today mm. so do you think they've got a kind of a strong chance of doing well and maybe following it on to the Oscars as well? But yeah no I mean definitely it's it you can never tell you can just never tell the sort of quirk of the membership whether they'll go that same way or whether you know different I would say Colin's got a very a very good chance, but you just you just never know. And I know he won't be counting his chickens before they hatch. He'll be polishing his Harley Davidson. Um, but no, I think I just I don't know. I don't think you can ever sort of second guess it. I mean, 
if he wins, it would be great. To win two years in a row would be pretty amazing for him. But uh, I don't know, you just can't tell. I mean, yesterday morning on the news, they were sort of, you know, sort of analysing after the post-mortem on the Golden Globes and saying True Grit's coming up on the inside track and uh, because it wasn't sort of really, hadn't kind of really made its mark in time for the Golden Globes, I guess. But.